This is not the first time indigents of Ihiaogwa community will be protesting against the management of the Federal University of Technology Owere over allegations of land grabbing. Again, the people are accusing the management of the institution of using the instrumentality of government to take over their ancestral land without due consultation and encroaching on even more land where a college of medicine is being constructed. The community is asking the federal government to intervene while also giving the school a 30-day ultimatum to relinquish part of the land in question. We're not happy that Puto are going to claim our land. 1982, when they came into Mboke, we were not paying compensation. Up to now, all 113 uh, acres of land we were not paid a dime. That's why uh, my youth are angry, my women, all the whole community are, are angry about it. Both the village and Mboke village we were not happy. Before now, the leadership of the National Association of Nigerian Students had met with management of the institution and also called on the federal government to caution host communities from issuing threats to the institution. The attention of National Association of Nigerian Students has been called upon to some element who are encroaching to the land of this university. Like I've said, as a student leader, how is it to advocate? And that advocacy will start from this land because Futu need more land for development. At the same meeting, the Vice Chancellor of Futo, Professor Nena Oti, who confirmed the construction of the College of Medicine on the controversial land, declined comments when asked questions related to the feud. It's my mandate to develop a teaching hospital because without a teaching hospital, there's no medical school. So I'm working hard to ensure that in two years' time, when our students will be at the clinical stages of their studies, that there should be a functional teaching hospital here. Yeah. The crisis between Futo and its host community has lingered for a long time. The people are calling on the federal and state governments to find a resolution acceptable to both parties.